I mean, listen, Dancing with the Stars has to also say they want me. We know that, you know, um, and I would love to be a part of it if my my doctors and my body allows. I mean, do you feel pressure at all to get the baby weight off? And or you, is that not even in your mind right now? Honestly, I thought I would. I thought in having been an athlete and my body being, you know, my, my career, and it's not just about aesthetics on the outside, it's about how it, my core feels to be able to dance and do what I do. Mm -hmm. I thought I would feel that pressure. I don't have pressure on myself. I would love to do the next season of Dancing with the Stars. It's a conversation. I have to wait another two weeks before I can work out to test my body to mm -hmm. see. Um, but as far as aesthetically getting the weight off or worrying about what I look like, I had the initial fear of looking in the mirror and seeing where I was at. But I was, I was so, and this is the honest truth, so overjoyed and grateful and blessed to have this beautiful baby that it was like, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to me, but I have him now and that's worth everything. Oh, definitely. So there is a chance that we could see you on the dance floor though this come fall? And there's a chance. I mean, listen, Dancing with the Stars has to also say they want me. We know that, you know, um, and I would love to be a part of it if my, my doctors and my body allows. It's, it's an exciting thing. It's over on Disney now and Conrad Green is back, which is just so amazing. He, uh, I, I loved having him. He was the first uh, executive producer when I joined the show. I have really great memories of that. So, but if I'm not there dancing in person with them, I will for sure be supporting from the sidelines or in the audience. If Definitely. I can. What do you think about Alfonso joining as co-host? Yes, isn't that so? I mean, listen, he's been a part of the Dancing with Stars family for a long time. I think he's an amazing fit. We all love him. He's family to us. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we spend Thanksgivings at his place and uh, and she's quite me. Incredible advice uh, on parenting or, or, or products and things to use for baby healthy. She's very much about um, having the healthiest options for her children. And I so appreciate her advice too. So listen, having them be with us, it only makes it all the more sweeter. I love that. I love that. Has a, a, a lot of your Dancing with the Stars family met Baby Zane? They have, a bunch of them have. Lindsay's also trying to plan a trip to come out here to meet Baby Zane. Peter, obviously, Danny, Pasha, Sasha, a, a lot of them. So many have met him, they love him. They think he's the cutest thing. Some people think he looks like me. Some people think he looks like uh, Bri. I think it's this crazy mix of like my head, but Brian's features, if that makes sense. But what I do know is that they change a lot um, from day to day. And one minute I think I see who he looks like, the next minute it, it changes. So who knows, but he's a beautiful kid, if I do say so myself. Definitely. You know, Jenna is expecting as well. So exciting. I mean, yes. what, is, what is the one piece of advice that you would give her for surviving that newborn stage? Oh, gosh. I mean, she's got this. She's such an amazing woman mm -hmm. uh, and she has an incredible family. She has lots of nieces and nephews already. So she's already had more experience with babies than I think I have. I think her and Val are going to be absolutely incredible parents. And my advice is to honestly in, enjoy every single second, take as many photos and videos, even when you think it's annoying, you know, allow, allow that because it goes so quick and it's such a blur that you want to have that to look back on it and not feel like you're in a rush to appease anyone else. I think because we come from a world where we share so much on social media and people want to know things, you can sometimes feel this pressure of answering people's questions or sharing where you're at. But truly those first few weeks are so beautiful that my, my recommendation is go in your bubble and be in that. Just be in that and love it and live it and remember it and record it and then get around to sharing whatever it is that you want to if you want to.